What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to episode 38 of our Socio Let's Play here in Football Manager 2018. We are back once more of course. If you missed last episode go check it out. It was a double header against Porto. Since then, just two games played. We played against, oh, well, we can have a look here. We played against Lorient and uh, Dijon. One game in the Cup, one game in the League. And actually, with our French Cup win against Dijon, we're into the quarterfinals, which is good. But, well, we'll come on to that in a second. The first game we had here was against Lorient. And, uh, well, we won 4-2 in the end. It was a pretty interesting game. It, it was largely comfortable. We actually got a three-goal lead into this game. Uh, and In fact, actually, we got a four-goal lead into this game before they pegged us back late on with two. Um, the game itself was actually pretty close it ultimately came down to some real clinical finishing we looked very good in front of goal and uh, it was good to see a variety of goal scorers in this match Harry Wilson getting well no assists but a goal to his name ended up getting man of the match uh, despite a few other players getting assists and goals he was playing out on the left hand side a little bit of rotation involved in this game so soon after the Porto match but, um, well, great to return to winning ways in the league, albeit against a team in Lorient, who uh, we certainly expect to beat. 4-2 was how it finished. And, uh, yeah, very, very, very pleasing result. I feel like it was a good way to kind of set the tone for this next little run of games that we've got coming up. Anyway, the next game we had against Dijon in the French Cup, I was going to take this seriously. I wanted to win it, and we won this game very comfortably. We created a plethora of clear-cut chances. It could have been significantly more. In the end, Felix got a goal from a corner to the back post. It was flicked on by Diar and uh, later on, uh, Mille on the break, really, found himself clean through on goal, Trincao pulling the ball across to him, and he was able to smash the ball home into an empty net. So yeah, two good results there. Today, we are hoping to overcome the live com curse, which has uh, kind of, I guess, poisoned us as of late. We need to try and beat Marseille. We are away from home against them. They beat us 3-0 in this result last season, but we are only one point behind them going into this game. So a win here would be really, really big for us and important for us, and it would also help us uh, create a five-point gap over Toulouse in fifth. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of motivation, I guess, to do well this game. You can see, as I mentioned in the French Cup, we got drawn against FC Chambly here. They are a semi-professional team playing in the National League. Um, I'm hoping, obviously, that we can beat them. In the French Club, Cup, you can see here they've knocked out Amiens, which is a pretty big scalp for them, really, as a semi-pro side. Um, in the league, their form's not been that great, though, really. I mean, we're going to be looking to rain on their parade here. They are 12th in the National League. Where does that see them sit? It looks like they've lost a lot of games. Yeah, you can see here. They're not doing that great, really. So, well, we're going to be hoping to poop on their parade a little bit when that game comes up. Anyway, in terms of a little bit of team news, we have had a youth intake since you were last here. Uh, I'm not going to show those players, though. They'll be coming up in the Academy episode, episode, I want to say, 6, um, which will be coming out after this video, probably tomorrow. And, well, we'll save it for then, shall we? I'll, I'll show you one player. I'll give you a little sneak peek of one player. We have here Morgan Bonnet. There you go. There, there's your preview. And, uh, well, now he's gone. Anyway, we're going to get into this game against Marseille. Hoping for a good result today. Two wins on the bounce is good, but away from home here, it's not going to be easy. Their form has been very patchy as of late. In terms of our team selection, it's going to be pretty much the standard team, I think. We're going to go with Lafont in goal. Across the back four, we are going to go with Pendant at left back still. Uh, you can see here Chilwell still carrying that little injury of his. We can go with Felix and Diara at centre-back. Felix this season been doing very well really um, particularly in the French Cup he's been performing well hopefully he can continue it here Diara alongside him of course another player's done fairly well when we've called upon him really defensively I don't think it's ever been our strong suit a right back we are going to go with Alex Pinto I have been rotating him a little bit with Gaultier but uh, I feel like when you compare the two players, you can kind of see that Pinto is just a better rounded player in a lot of different areas. Really, Gautier's physical is the, the big thing on his side. Uh, anyway, looking higher up the pitch, we're going to go Chevalier at centre mid on defend. This guy has improved so much over the last few months. His development has kind of gone under the radar until this point. But looking at his mentals, there are so many yellow attributes here. Physically, his pace is continuing to improve. It's now at 16, um, or rather his accelerations at 16, his pace is at 12 still. But yeah, low. Loads of improvement in his kind of physicals has been good. Um, you can see, looking at his natural fitness, his natural fitness has slightly improved as well over time, which is good. Maybe one day he can overcome his injury proneness. Anyway, alongside him, we are going to go with Blonde in the centre of the midfield. You can see, so far for Blonde, 10 appearances in the league, a 7.3 average rating. The Danish player did come in for a hefty sum of money, £5 million paid, of course, in January. He's looking good for us, though, which is great to see. 
Anyway, the front three, we are going to, of course, go with Trincao out on the left. Uh, he's been okay this season. I feel like he's had a quiet season by his standards. Maybe that's because it's been a bit more shared, the duty, I guess, of the attacking midfielders. It's no longer kind of a one-man show for Trincao because he's got Mbula on the right, who's been doing pretty well, although his recent form's been questionable. Almada in the centre has been great this year, though. Um, I'm obviously hoping that he's going to continue his development, but the wonder kid from Argentina looks superb. And, well, up top for today's game, we are, of course, going to go with Quinton Ducat hoping that he can bang in goals. On the bench, we've got the likes of Gautier. Calavera is going to be our left-back option with Chilwell out injured. Other options here, Jondo Fuchs, Almeida. We have Harry Wilson, Moroni and Mile. Um, you can see here that Kubik still out injured with the injury he got uh, prior to the Porto game. So that's a little bit of a shame for him. The Czech Republic player really struggled to get a run of games together, really, so far. I was hoping he'd provide a bit more competition for Dukas, but at least in recent games... The cast has started to find the back of the net. Anyway, away from home here, it's not going to be easy. Looking at their team, lots of players you might recognise. Rodrigo Cal, very good player, the Brazilian in football manager term. Sanson and Gustavo are going to be tricking the midfield. Gomez as well, a very good striker this year in football manager. So they're not going to be pushovers, Marseille here. I'm going to go and tell the players to go out there and impress me. Marseille's form has been patchy as of late. Our away form against the big teams has been goddamn awful. We're hoping to put an end to that run today. I feel like it might get to the end of the season and I have to look at kind of formulating a plan for away games, perhaps. That might be the way that these things have to kind of boil down to. We have to change something up. But I don't want to change it mid-season. I feel like a, to formulate a new game plan, we needed a bit of time. Anyway, we're on the attack here. De Cass, Armada through on goal. Lovely finish. Some intricate passing. De Cass awarded the assist, but some really nice one-touch passing there, just penetrating through the centre. And Thiago Armada, the Argentine who, to be fair, his goal return hasn't been massive for us this year. He finds the back of the net. You can see Chevalier here. Three men closing him down. He squeezes out the pass to Mbula de Cass to Almada. A little one-touch play. And we carve open an opportunity. And Almada, repping his number 14 shirt, finds the back of the net. I mean, that's the perfect start as far as we're concerned here against Marseille. I'm hoping for more of that, please. Although, with Marseille's quality, they are going to be difficult, you feel, to contain this game. So we're going to be looking to score as many as we can. And, well, we don't want to concede immediately. Dam runs in. Gomez hits the woodwork. Can we get it clear? We can. I mean, this game's been all action so far in the early stages. Both teams with chances. Otavo's picked up a knock for them. That could be nice to force them into a sub early on. And, uh, well, we're going to try and build here from Chevalier at the back. You know, playing that deeper midfielder role. Pulling the strings from deep. He goes to Mbula. To Cass. I mean, it's deja vu. It's deja vu until the finish. Almada smashes it over the crossbar for a second. He thought he was about to double his tally, but that's that's the lack of composure uh, on a finish from Almada that I've come to expect at times this season, unfortunately. But good to see him get into that position. And we're on the attack again here. And Bula down the line beats his man, crosses it into Cassis there. In off the woodwork. Are we going to lift the away game curse in live comms today? De Cassis just dabbed. All right. Stop the episode. Stop. We can't have players dab. I'm going to have to find his wages for that. Either way, Mbula here, you know, one on one with the fullback, takes it around and uses his pace just to burn him. Pulls it in to Cass. Just, well, just has to guide it in, doesn't he? In off the post, caught it a little bit fine there. But, uh, well, it landed the right side of the post for us and made its way into the back of the net. And looking at the stats. We're looking pretty good at the moment. We've hit the ground running this game. We've scored the few chances that have come our way. We've had 58% of the possession as the team in fourth taking on the team in third. That is just really exciting. And, well, we're looking to go forward again here. Ducasse. I think that's blonde alongside him. He's going on his own. He's going on his own for a second. You thought he was about to score a worldie. It's like he got locked onto the goal there, and that's all that he could see in front of him. He, you know, he had the blinders on. Wasn't going to pass to anyone. Pendon on a booking is a little bit of a concern. We might have to look at that. And Bula hits it. I mean, what is happening? It's 3-0 here. It is 3-0 here. What 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 have, what's happened? What has happened? I don't know what what I mean, what are we doing? This is madness. This is this is madness. I mean, they are looking frustrated, their team. And uh well, look at that. And Bula nodded down from Diara. Lovely finish into the bottom corner. Diara is so good at those near post headers. Uh, of course, you saw in recent games he set up Felix for a goal. He's just set up um, Mbula for his goal there. And again, look at the look at the duty of care being spread across our attacking force. You know, no one banging in all the goals this year. I feel like the last few seasons it's been the Decas show. This year Decas still has been getting most of the goals, 
but there's definitely been a shared responsibility from our team and you know everyone is chipping in and performing well when we perform well we see certainly are having the odd bad day at the office but it's games like this that I feel like we've been lacking in live comms I've seen them a few times throughout this season and it just felt like in the big occasion, you know, away from home, he struggled to really get going. And, well, we're 3-0 up here. Marseille have their first shot on target of the game in the second half. I mean, let's not concede from a set piece. That would be an extremely so-show thing to do. I mean, Chevalier's just murdered two men there. What tackling that is. And it goes out for a throw-in and the, the danger's going to pass. We've got a set piece to deal with here, though. Ball whipped in. It is our kryptonite set pieces. Can we win the tackle? Gamara's there. Is he going to pull it back a year? Is it deflects? And while well, it's Markovic in the end who tucks it away into the bottom corner. Disappointing by our team dealing with that, really. I mean, it's another set piece goal that we've conceded. We just kind of switched off here. The header clear, not followed up, really. And Gamara, well, he pulled it back. A little bit of fortune about the deflection, really, to pass it into the pass, uh, path of their player. But Lazar Markovic, who came on at half time, immediate impact for them, finds the back of the net. And now we've gone in this, I should probably look to make some changes. We have got a lot of bookings, which is a little bit of a concern. I'm going to bring in Gautier for Pinto and Calavera, I think, at left back for Pendant. Uh, higher up the pitch, Armada's on a booking. I'm going to make all three changes now and hope we don't get any injuries. I'm going to bring in Moroni. I don't know why I'm making all three changes now. I'm just asking for trouble. But, um, yeah, Diara's got to be a little bit careful on a booking, but I have kind of trust in him, the towering Frenchman, to not get sent off. He's pretty good in these kind of situations normally. And, well, I'll, I will take 3-1. You know, if we could just see out this game now, not make it nervy for the last 10 minutes, that would be fantastic. You can see in the second half, Marseille definitely have responded well, but they've not really done a whole lot with the ball, and the time is just trickling away here. And that's f perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned. We have a set-piece deep here. I don't think it's even going to get to be taken. Blonde clears up. It's cleared away, but... Well, that's game. 3-1, it finishes. Fantastic result for us, really, against Marseille. They are a very, very good side... And with that result, we now go up to third, if I'm not mistaken. Leapfrogging them. And, well, that's just really exciting, isn't it? Ducasse with the Man of the Match award. As I said, he's not banged in a load of goals this year. 12 in the league. It's not a monstrous total, really. I, I, it's probably still the highest for us in the competition, if we just look. Yeah, top goal scorer is Ducasse. You can see, though, it's been, it's been a shared kind of task, I feel like, this year. You've got Ducasse on 17, Mille on 13, although most of those have come in Europe, and Bula and Trincao with 12 and 8. It's been really good, actually, just to see the shared burden of responsibility, and it's been nice, actually, in Bula, um, kind of to see him just getting as many goals as he has, because the inside forward role for us in our tactic has always been a bit meh, whereas he's really shown that it can work when the right players play in there. And that maybe raises questions over Dougie Pote and how good he is, but we're not going to question Dougie Pote. He doesn't deserve to be questioned. But anyway, that's a really good result for us there against Marseille. If we look at the league table, you can see we are now up to third. Increases us uh, our lead over Toulouse to four points. Our goal difference is looking really, really impressive as well. Plus 24. The third best in the league behind the likes of PSG and Monaco. And, um, well, you can see here if we just look at it. 61 goals scored, which is the most in the competition. Defensively, not the best defence, but we kind of knew that going into this year but good to see us just banging in goals for fun hopefully we can keep that going in terms of the games we've got coming up we've got some theoretically easier games i probably won't live come the french quarter final against the national league team i expect us to beat them um leon could be an interesting game they are in sixth you can see looking at our run to end the season we have got monaco and saint etienne uh, and well you can see here as well nice i'm hoping that in these games we'll kind of have our position solidified otherwise it could be another tricky end to the season but nevertheless, that game against Lyon is looking like it could be a really important game in the context of our season. We have also got Toulouse in fifth. That could be an interesting one too. But I feel like Lyon, you know, the old guard, a familiar foe, it's the game that the fans would want to see. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up everything from me today. Hopefully you did enjoy as always. If you did, leave a like on today's video. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.